me just get a little set up here and I need to share it to, let's see, my group, Donna's Creative Space, oops, post. All right. Hello out there. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I am here to share yet another celebration item. And um, I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card. I'm going to do it in a different color wave and see how it comes out. But this is the card that I made earlier today, and I haven't quite finished it, so I will finish it up just a bit. And um, I need to put some bling on it. I haven't decided on what I'm going to use for bling. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just use some regular rhinestones. We'll see. And um, I just I finished stamping it all, and like I just tacked it down on the inside because I wasn't sure. So I'm going to quickly put the inside down. I'll do this while people are hopefully finding me. I know it's tough on a Friday at noontime because mo most people are probably running errands on their lunch hour break from work or maybe they are um, out enjoying this beautiful weather. It's nice and sunny out. Oh, I forgot to ask Alexa what the temperature was outside. So I'm just going to, like I said, while people, I'm just going to go ahead and put a, a few little... Um, embellishments on here just so that I can finish up this card and then I'm going to start a new card so if you are watching and you um, please say hello I like to see if there's anybody out there and if they're watching and if you comment I am going to um, give away a card that I made. Now, a couple things I want to tell you before I go any further with this little project today. This is a really simple fun fold card that we're going to make. But don't I just don't want I want to remind you that during celebration, oh my camera's kind of crooked. Let me see if I can finish fix that a little bit. Uh, maybe that's better. Um I'd love you to join my Sage Stampers team. This is the um the join address if you if you know you want to join you can go go right there and check it out if you have any questions you can email me at donna singleton 33 at yahoo.com um, during celebration normally normally you can always anytime during the year you can join at any time and get um, 125 dollars in product for only 99 dollars and it's plus tax, but free shipping. It's an awesome deal because that's $26 for free. And the shipping, shipping alone on um, $125 is at the very minimum, like $13. So you're going to save $13 shipping. You're going to save $26. You're going to get an extra $26 in product, only $99 plus tax. But during celebration, we have this awesome join. Usually during celebration, Stampin' Up! gives out um, a little extra special thing. And we have this awesome planner. I've showed it a few times. So I'm just going to show you the picture today. I don't want to take the time up. But you get a planner. You get a stamp set. You get three notebooks that go in it. You get like an inch thick of papers and inserts that go in the planner. Um, what else? I think I said the stamp set. I think that's everything. And oh, I have it written right here. So it's it goes from July 2022. So if you get it now, you might have missed using July in it, but you'll have from August through December of 2023. Um, and you get planner pages, you get the monthly dividers, you get four, oh yeah, sticker sheets. I forgot about the sticker sheets. You get four sticker sheets and the movable bookmark. Um, and then this making plans stamp set and three journal notebooks. It's a really awesome deal. And I'd love you to join my Sage Stampers team. We're a small team, but we meet once a month on Zoom. And most of the people on my team 
join just as a hobbyist, which means they're just supporting their hobby. They like getting the 20% or 25% discount on their products every month. And, um, and they place their own orders and they get that discount and they love it. And they stay on as long as they can afford to. And if they can't afford to, they quit and they go back to being my customer. But um, we, we meet once a month, like I said, on Zoom, and we do like a little creative challenge. We might do a make and take. Most of the time we play games and I give awards to, you know, people that do great in sales. And um, it's just, it's fun. It's a chance to get together with other like-minded people, other people that are creative. And then you have access to Stampin' Up! Um, sites like the demo demonstrator planning place that lots of people you can't get to unless you're a demo you get lots of ideas there too but anyway if you'd like to join my sage dampers team you can go right there to that address go to my website and click join that's another way of going you can get info about it or just like I said email me and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions okay so that's that and one other thing of housekeeping is my cottage rose virtual card class i i did the class wednesday night right here on facebook but you can also go to my donna's creative space youtube channel and see the cards there so these are the four cards that we made and we made envelopes to match um let's see i want to make sure i'm putting the right there's one card and the envelope that we did to match it and let's see did we do I don't think I did an envelope for this one but for this one here I did this little envelope so that's what we did on Wednesday night now you can get a card kit that will give you all four of these card pieces to make the kit now I also have a um, printout of all the sizes so that you, you didn't have to watch the video and try to write everything down and as I'm saying this to you, I'm like scrambling around because it was just right next to me. I honestly don't know how things just disappear from my desk. It's like they're there one minute and then the next minute they're gone. But what I did was I created a, um, a piece of paper that has all the measurements on it. And I emailed it to my, my uh, face, my, oh gosh, my email list yesterday and for those of you that aren't on my email list, you should be. So sign up for my email list. You can go right there to donnascreativespace.com. That's my blog. You can check out. You can Actually, you can go there and download the list, the um, sheet. It's a, I called it a, um, my camera's still kind of messed up. I'm trying to get it straight. So you can go to my blog and download the cutting instructions right there. And it's got color photos on it too. And then um, you can... It has the link to the video also. So I'll send you a kit for these four cards. I used the Cottage Rose stamp set to do it and the dies that go with it. But if you don't, if you end up not buying the dies, I mean, you'll get this card kit for the four cards for free with the $35 order. You don't have to buy the supplies. But there's only two things you have to cut out, this little sprig and this. I can't cut it out for you ahead of time because it'd be really hard for you to stamp in that exact spot. So you need the dies to cut it out or a good pair of scissors and you can fussy cut those. So those are the four cards that are in the kit and you have until July 31st to shop with me in order to get those for free. So, okay, one more thing of, I've got a couple things here. One more thing on housekeeping. So if you've been following along with me the last few weeks, I have been giving away the cards that we create. Now last week we did this, we did some watercoloring with um, the ink and our, our aqua painters, which are these little, let me show you, these are the brushes that you can fill with water or you can just dip in a, a thing of water. So we did these, these two cards last week and what I've been doing is giving out the card for free. Hi Nancy, happy Friday to you too. So when you comment, your name is going to go into a pool and I pull a name each week after that Monday. So I go live on Friday. So Monday, I, about lunchtime, I've gathered all the names of people and I have my list. Let's see, my, this was my list from last week. There weren't that many people that commented. Those that did comment, they com commented quite often, 
but um, these are the people that commented and Jill D one she was on as Bruce and Jill but I, I'm pretty sure she's Jill D and um, she won last week's card so Jill if you're watching so now all you have to do is comment say hello to me tell me where you're watching from and your name will go into the bucket now Jill you have a choice you can pick either of these two cards and you just have to get back to me I think you have you I, I know you have my email address so hopefully if the, you're watching this you can let me know and um, that's that's who won this week's now last week's was um, Tracy Tracy won last week's and I had I didn't mail it I didn't put it in the mail yet and I, I will I'm going to mail them both at the same time. I just, I don't know, being retired, you think I would have organized myself better, but in any event. Now, that was last week's. Now, a couple weeks ago, th we did th these cards. Oh, I already gave away the answer. So, Phyllis Marie, I've been trying to get in touch with you to tell you you won. For this, oh gosh, we did this July 1st, and I didn't hear from you. So, um, I picked a new name and the new name was Tracy Z, better known as TZ. So Tracy, you won one of these cards. You can let me know which one you would like. You can have the, the blue one, which says, oh, you're really the best or the kind of, um, what is this called? The sweet sorbet one. Tracy, retired, doesn't he organize? Don't worry. Retired mainly means more freedom and you can stay up late. Yes, you're, you're right, Tracy. I have your card from last week. And um, I just, I just, here it is right here, Tracy. I still have your name with it. So this is, this is the one that's going out to you, Tracy. I'm sorry, I just didn't get a chance. But your name is still with it. So that's going out to you. Tracy and Jill Dale gets one of these. So Jill, if you're watching... Um, if you're watching Jill, you can pick, you can choose which one you want out of this one. And let's see. And Tracy, you've gone back. I've, sorry, Phyllis, you, you didn't respond. So, um, you love what, you love that one. My hippos came yesterday. Oh, good. Have you been playing with them, Susan? All right. So Tracy, you have to let me know. You want blue? Or sweet sorbet. This is um, orchid oasis, I believe, and this is sweet sor sorbet. So you'll have to let me know. All right. So happy retry it's retired Friday. Thank you, Susan. I'm really. I'm just start. This is this. I'm just starting to get to the point where it feels like I'm retired, and um, I love having the morning to kind of play around in my craft room and get ready for you guys instead of kind of rushing all right so boy my this looks a little blurry i'm trying to figure out so all right so if you're watching like i said make sure you comment today i'm using a stamp set it's called perfect pomegranate and it's in the back of the celebration catalog and um it's right here now it's a host stamp and you have to have an order of $300 or more. So it might be something that, you know, is out of reach for some of you. But um, if you get it free with the $300 orders, but if you and you have a couple friends that want to put an order in together, let me know. I'll put you all on one order. You can be the host and you can get the perfect pomegranate for free. All right. So uh, let's see. What else do I want to tell you? So that's a $300 order. Here's the, t I told you about joining my team. I would love to have you on my team. And I guess that's it. So anyway, I pulled this stamp set out and I thought, well, I, I pulled out my Blackberry Bliss because I said, I'm going to do the pomegranate. But then I started looking at this plant here and I, this little flower and I said, oh, I like that much better. But I, and, so I decided to use that and I used this little flower and the dots. What else? Do, oh, and, and this branchy thing here but um so that's that's what I came up with and for the sentiment I went back since I had this handy because I just did my card class I mean my virtual card class 
I used the Cottage Rose set and I used the It's Going to Be Fab right here. And then on the inside, I used the Happy Birthday. And I thought, oh, that's good. I, I had some sentiments because sometimes you just get images. So you need a sentiment. So this is what we're going to make. But I'm not going to make it in these colors. I'm going to do a new color wave and I'm going to try a couple different things. And I decided to pull out this paper. And so I thought, what if I put this paper over here instead of stamping this, right? And then um, I can just stamp the right side with that little flower and then do these the same. So that's what I did is I pulled out the two colors. Now, when you're looking at your designer series paper, now this happens to be, I'm using another celebration item. This paper happens to be this the free paper. It's the Rings of Love designer series paper. And when you're trying to play with something and you don't not sure what colors you want to use, you can go to the back of your um, designer series paper. You can always also see in the catalog they list it too. But I'm not sure if in the mini catalog. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. It should say it. Yes, it does. So see, we have um, it tells you you know how many sheets are in it. But crushed curry. These are the the colors that coordinate with it. Crushed curry, evening evergreen, mint macaron. Night of Navy, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, and Soft Suede. So those are the colors that go with it, that coordinate with it. And that's one of the th great things about Stampin' Up! is all the color coordination. They take the thinking out of it for you. So you can pick up this paper and look at the back. And I, so now I've, I've saw, seen the paper and I decided I'm going to put this on the left side and... I thought, well, I gotta figure out what colors are in this. So I pulled out the, the, the parakeet party and the crushed curry that was written on the back of the card. I mean, a ba um, the back of the designer series paper. Now, this is kind of bright, so I'm kind of thinking, oh, I'm not sure if I wanna do that. And just because Stampin' Up! says that that's the coordinating um, color, that doesn't mean that that's the only color that coordinates with it. So I'll show you something. So this is Granny Apple Green, all right? And I think, even though that might be Parakeet Party, I like the idea of the Granny Apple Green. So I am going to do my card, as, I, I, as pretty as the Parakeet Party is. I just think that I like this more a little lighter it's on its own you would think that the the granny apple green is really bright but then you put it next to the parakeet party and you're kind of like hmm that's a little different so so that's what i decided i'm gonna do so i am going to use the granny apple green i am going to use the parakeet party uh, metallic ribbon because let me get the oh goodness tape it down so that they don't all unravel and then it and then I can't get the, the ends up all right here we go so I thought even though this is granny apple green doesn't it go nicely so that's what I pulled together so I'm going to show you how to make this fun fold card from scratch and I'm going to do it in two colors I believe I think I'm going to do it in both of these because I really don't know which which one I want for like what I use for this blackberry bliss so I'm going to do it in two colors, and I'm going to show you from start to scratch. Start to scratch? No, start to finish. Hi, Ellie. How are you? All right, so I'm going to get my trimmer out, and I'm going to show you. We're going to make a long, skinny card. Usually I do it with the this half, but now we're going to do this half. But first, I like to score at five and a half. Now, for every sheet of our eight and a half by 11, you get two sheet. You can make two cards out of it. So I like to score it at four at at five and a half when it's it's oh I just did that wrong that's not the way I wanted to do it let me grab another piece that's the normal way we do it when I'm making a um oops that's when we're making a kind of a let's see I'll show you um like a fold like like this that kind of fold that's how you do it you score it at um, five and a half. No, wait, did I? Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do for these, I'm going to score it four and a quarter. No, I'm not. I was doing it. I did it right. Oh, my goodness, Donna. Slow down. I'm doing it right. It just kind of looked funny to me. I'm so, I'm such a, all right. I ha Maybe I have a retired brain now. 
holy cow all right so i'm scoring it five and a, and a half and then i'm going to turn it the vertical way and i'm going to cut at four and a quarter all right so if i was making cards the other way right i would score at i would score at four and a quarter like this you get two cards out of it you did it right i know i know i did it right i'm such a ditz uh, it's you know i've been doing a lot of these facebook lives but i tell you i get nervous every single time i still get nervous all right so i scored it at five and a half and i'm going to cut this time at four and a quarter all right so i'm going to do the same thing with this i'm going to score it at five and a half make sure you move your blade down now this is the crushed curry I'm going to score it at five and a half, and then I'm going to cut at four and a quarter. And I'm not sure. You probably can't see. I'm sorry. You can't see my the top of my paper. I mean, the top of my trimmer. So I'm, I'm, I've got it scored at four and a quarter here, just like this. All right. So I'm not making four cards, so I'll put one of each of these aside for another day. All right. And... I am going to use this paper. So I did not write down all the measurements for you, but I will give them to you. So this, I used designer, I used um, basic white here, but it's two and three quarters by four. Yeah, two and three quarters by four. But we're gonna, I, I may switch back to that, but I may just stick with this. So I am gonna take this paper. Isn't this pretty? I can't wait to use this for the fall fall um, cards. I am going to cut it at four, just like this. All right, because four is a good way of cutting these because four gives you that mat, like it's the width of the card. So when you cut your designer series paper um, in three sections, four and four, you'll have three sections of four inch paper. And then you can turn it and cut it five and a quarter. And that gives you um, your mat for the front of your cards and what I'm going to do is I am going to cut a mat out right because I want to get some of this yellow paper in here so I'm going to cut a mat just so I have it now I'm going to put that aside and I may make a card another day out of that but then I need two and three quarters so I'm going to take this here because I wanted yellow and green in this and I'm going to take two and three quarters so that's the size I need for the left side all right now, I do need, oh, I just realized, I do need a piece for, if we're going to make a, the green card. So I'm going to make two cards. So I'm going to cut this right here at two and three quarters. All right, so we have two pieces because I'm not sure which we're going to use. Now, I designed papers done. I've got two pieces. Those are th two and three quarters by four. And I'm going to take two inside mats that are four by five and a quarter. So we're going to make two cards at once. And then this piece here, this white piece, this is, I believe I cut it two and a quarter. Yes, two and a quarter by four. All right, so that's two and a quarter by four. So I'm going to take, I cut all my, um, when I get a pack of my white paper, I cut them all down to four by five and a quarter. So I have them handy, and then I have I have them in like a, a box right here so that I can just grab them when I need them. And it's it's easier to handle when you want to cut things up. So two and a quarter. And I know they're four inches wide because I cut them for my bases, for the inside, and for when I'm using it for the front of a card. So now I'm going to just cut two of these. All right, and that's scrap. I'll just set that aside. And I have another piece of scrap. Oh, I, I did have one already cut. Oh, well, so I have two cut. That'll be a mistake. One in case I make a mistake. All right, I'll use, I'll use a scrap piece for um, our sentiment. So I'm going to start by, we have to cut this off. And I am cutting off one end. All right, and we're going to cut it off two and a half inches just like this, two and a half inches from the end. I'll do the same on the granny apple green. I moved my trimmer down because I don't think I was in the image area very well. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Two and a half inches, all right? So I have two cards and the two cut off pieces 
I think I don't need my trimmer anymore. So we're going to take our card and we have, this is the size of the card. So we're going to take this and fold this on the score line. I know I had my, hmm, I thought I had my, my bone fold out, but I just grab it again and we're going to fold this down like this. All right. And let's do some stamping. I did grab a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to pull out my stamp and pierce mat because these are these are photopolymer this is a photopolymer set and um, the pomegranates are cool and these are the, the little dots that you put in them so I was kind of surprised when I stamped this because I was surprised when I had a white center but then I just took that little dotted image and put it right in the center I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not, but if that's part of it or not, but that's what I did. So I've got my scrap paper. I'm going to do the insides first. All right. So I have, let's see, I put them up here. I have two of the insides pieces and I'm going to grab the little flower. Now mine, are, I was using Blackberry Bliss. So anytime you use reds or cherry cobbler or the, um, obviously the Blackberry Bliss, it can stain your photopolymer stamp, but it doesn't do anything to your stamping. So you don't have to worry about that. So we are going to do yellow flowers, well, the crushed curry, I should say. And I didn't even test this to see if it was inked up enough. It's kind of, I think I'm going to, well, let me try, let me try one and we'll see. Oh, I think it's good. So I'm going to ink it up. Some of them I'm going to do go off the edge and some on. And I'm going to use the same. So I'm going to use yellow for the flowers on both of these. I'm just um, still trying to decide which um, cute, right? I may, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the background, the, the base. So now I'm going to take, I'll leave the crushed curry out. Now I'm going to take the granny apple green and I'm going to put a little, these little dots in the center, just like this. Uh oh, hang on a sec. I just squished. Obviously my granny apple green is very juicy. So let me be a little more delicate and I'll do this one. And it doesn't have to be perfect because, as you know, flowers aren't perfect. As you can see, I, I did it again with my ink. Sometimes when I, I shouldn't ink, I shouldn't re-ink my pads right before <laughs> a glass. All right, so we have our two insides done. Now let's do those skinny pieces, which are going to be the front of our card. And I'll show you how I did them. And we are using this leaf here. It's it it just barely makes it onto the D block and you just have to put it at an angle. So I haven't stamped it with this color because this one here, I used Mossy Meadow on this one. That's Blackberry Bliss and Mossy Meadow. So I thought let's try a brighter card. So I'm going to have it coming off from the left, just kind of like this. Oops, just like that. And I'll do it again. Let me ink it up. And this is a this is one of our distinctive stamps. So you get like a um, it's like a dot pattern. All right. Cool, isn't that pretty? And see all that shading. And some of the leaves are shaded in um, some areas are darker than others. It's lighter. All right. So that's that. So I'm going to close. I got those two done. So do I need to? No, I don't need anything else for this green. Oh, I might. I think I'm going to do my happy birthday in the green because I think it shows up better. So let me take these two cards and my happy birthday. And like I said, I'm using this is from, I think I said it. Let me show you again. This is the happy birthday from Cottage Rose, what I did my virtual card class. All right, let me ink this up and I'm going to stamp right in the center. 
Now this one I don't need my foam underneath because this is a red, rub red rubber. See how it has that gray foam? Whereas the photopolymer do not have that. So, and I'm going to put this right in the center there. All right, so I have my two insides done. Green, we're all done stamping with green, and we just need to stamp with the yellow. All right, so let's see. Put those aside. Oh, I did need one more thing with the green. Sorry. I need our sentiment for the outside. So let me grab that, and I'm going to do it on... Let me see if this is going to be wide enough. Yes. I'm going to do it on this here, and... All right, where did I put the sentiment? Oh, it's, it was on its side. It was right there. So I'm going to do this in the green also. And I'm going to do it in this direction because then I can take my punch. And I'll show you the punch I'm using. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It is the double oval punch. And I put my... Um, sentiment sideways so that I can go in and stamp it and I, I will I will waste some paper with that I could have you know what I could have done oh I just have I have a scrap here let me do this right because then I can cut that out it's a little crinkled but that's better see so if you do a long strip you won't have as much waste I mean, I do have plenty of paper, so I'm going to do it again, but I will, I'll, I'll just use this one, and I'm going to stamp, and I'll just put my, um, you know, you guys know how I have that little bin up on my shelf that has all little extra pieces, so I'm going to take this piece and throw it in the bin, so I'll save that. All right, so that's what we used, that's all we needed. And don't forget to comment because you are going to, I'm going to put all the names into a bin, a little bucket, and whoever, whoever's name gets pulled, I'm going to give them a card. I will mention, let me mention since more people are watching right now, um, Tracy, we know, Tracy, you know about your card. Um, goodness gracious. Jill Dale. Oops. Jill, you're, um. You get to choose one of these, whichever one you would like. You just have to let me know which one I you want me to send to you. And I re-picked a name for the hippos because um, the person I called last time has not responded again. So this was Tracy, Tracy Z, better known as TZ in the Facebook world. So those are the winners. And how did they win them? Just from commenting. I take all the names from Facebook here and I take all the names from, because I upload this to YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, you can comment over there also. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure please to, um, oh, I know what I need. I need some scrap paper. I need, a, I need scraps of the garden green because I need two of those punches. So I do need that punch. I could do it in yellow, but I think I'll keep it consistent and I'll do it in the green. So I'm gonna just cut two of those scallops. I love this punch. This is a great punch. You can, um, this this happened to work perfect for this vertical, um, using it as a vertical scallop, but you can always use it sideways too. But I love this punch because you get two punches in one. All right, so don't forget to comment either here or on YouTube and God, did I finish my sentence? If you're on YouTube, please hit subscribe. I am trying very hard to um, build up my subscriber list. Okay, what else do I need, ladies? Or gentlemen, if there's a gentleman watching. I think I'm done with this now, right? I think so. Now, on this card, I just did the same flowers over here on this little piece. But like I said, we're going to switch it to... Um, oh, I got to stamp the flowers. We're going to switch it to designer paper and see how it looks. I may switch back and decide to, um, all right, decide to go back and use the, you know, make our own designer paper, but we'll see. You love that punch, Ellie? I do too. I do. All right. So now I'm going to ink up this and see it, 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 that the red's not on there. It just got stained like I said a few minutes ago so I'm going to ink this up but I'm going to try to do it 
without the stem. All right, I don't want the um, the stem on these. I'm just going to attach it right, not attach, but put it down on the paper right where a the stem ends. And my head might get in the way. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my head might get in the way because I have to kind of go over it. And let's see, I want to go this way a little bit. So there's my first flower. Isn't that pretty? I love these. Oops, I went and I went and um, stamped the stem. So if you do ink it up, you just have to wipe off the stem. All right, so let me ink this up again. And see how I have the stem hanging off the edge of the stamp set? And then I'm going to put this one kind of going down towards the right a little. Just like that. It doesn't matter if they touch each other. They're flowers. They can touch. All right, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to ink it up. Everything but that little stem. I like that. And again, but if you mess up and you get that ink on the stem, just wipe it off with a paper towel or Q-tip. What do you have? Whatever you have on hand. And this one. I think this is a really pretty set. I know, unfortunately, it's a host set, but like I said, get a few friends to put in a, some orders. Everybody, when you spend at celebration, don't forget when you spend the fifty dollars, you can pick out of here. Um, now, if you spent, if you placed an order for three hundred dollars, you could pick like the two hippo pieces, right? Two fifties. You can get three fifties for a hundred fifty dollar order, or um, uh, one one hundred dollar order, one hundred dollar item, I should say, not order, and a fifty dollar item. So you could get this stamp set, and maybe some paper. But if you have some friends that put in an order, like let's say you get three friends and you each, two friends, and you each ordered $100, then if you're, we'll put you down as the hostess and you can get this perfect pomegranate stamp set because I think it's really pretty. Something different, right? All right, I think we're all done stamping, so let's assemble. All right, so let's start with our... Um, Get rid of that. All right, let's put some pieces together. You know me, I like to have less things laying around. So I'm going to put adhesive on these two ovals. Oop, I might have been out of the image area doing that. Sorry about that. And I'm going to put these down. Scent it on the oval, the scalloped oval. It's really a cool punch to have because you can make your instant little um, borders on your items. Okay, Nancy, do the friends have to order separately? How do I list as hostess? We can chat later. I just wanted to get the comment. Yes. Yes, they can. We can, You can put it all on. We'll do a host. I'll show you how to do a host code, Nancy. We'll talk later. Um, you can get orders from a friend. And I'll show you how to do a host code. And then um, you can put an order and they can be two customers on that same order. But I will show you. All right. Oh, isn't that pretty? This would make a great fall card. But we're using this side, and I want to put it so that I can see. Oh, let's do this. Let me... We are putting one of these on the green. Right? We're making two cards. And then whoever's name gets picked for commenting. So you can comment between now and lunchtime, noontime on Monday. And I'll gather all the names, and I'll put them in a bucket, and I'll pull the name out. Oh, did I? Yes, I did repeat. I did show you who's who won what. All right. You're welcome, Nancy. Okay, so those are our two, and they're going to go on our cards. We could we could switch it up, but I like I like it I like it looking like this. So, this is one of them, but that's a lot of yellow. So I'm going to save that one for the green one, and then this one I think I'll put on here. And, yes, I like that. All right, so this one's going to go on here. I like that yellow up in the corner. So this one's going to get centered on this left side of the fold. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to put one of these on the inside. 
this is a really easy fun fold because you're using you're using the um, inside the piece that you cut off all you did was we cut this off right we cut it off and we're just gonna turn it this way oh this is pretty huh I like that it's different I like that all right so that's that one and I suppose we can put on oops this one's not flat I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive a little bit of surgery on this one okay all right so I'm gonna take this and these I'm putting on flat I'm not putting adhesive all the way up to the top because the tip top is gonna overlap so I'll put this one here see I don't want the adhesive to show on the back so we have that one and let's get this one made oh, this, is pretty. this paper is so pretty now this paper is free with a $50 order this is the rings of love I think I told you that at the beginning but this is a celebration item and it, it's on page well, this is the pomegranates in the back right rings of love it's on page seven so with the $50 order you get all this and if you order before the end of July you um, and you spend fifty dollars, you'll get this. You'll get my um, my my card kit here, right? It's so it's a really good deal. You get kits to make these four cards, but you could use you know whatever flowers you have. You don't you just use my bits and pieces. You don't have to have the cottage rose stamps that make them exactly like mine. So you get if you order with me, you'll get that paper for free. If it's a fifty dollar order, you'll get my card kit. And I'm giving out a free embellishment um, with $50 or more order. You're going to get the iridescent rhinestones. Now, you may just put a $35 in order in to just get the card kit. But for another $15, you'll get a pack of paper. And a this, this comes from me. This will come from Stampin' Up! with your order. This and the card kit will come from me. All right. Okay. Back to here. So let's put some adhesive on the lower two-thirds of the oval oh thank you Beverly oops <laughs> what am I doing all right and I'm gonna put this here just like that off to the side I have to my head might get in the way I'm trying to make sure it's straight okay now we're gonna put them on our card oh no 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 we're not we got we have to tie I almost forgot we got to tie our ribbon first all right and I used when I did this one, I did um, three strands, and then I made a knot. But look how pretty that goes with that. Even though this is Parakeet Party, and this green is Granny Apple Green. I still like it. I'm just going to go around once. You know what I'm going to do, too? I'm going to use my Sharpie technique. It's going to be... I like doing that because, um, well, it's a new technique. Not a new technique, but it's a different technique, and... Oh, that goes with that card. This goes with this card. Oh, I didn't put the inside. Hang on. Let me put the inside of this down real quickly. And that way both cards are up to the same point. So if you didn't get a chance, go back and watch my Facebook Live from Wednesday night. I did the virtual card class on those four Cottage Rose cards. And I did give a lot of, quite a few tips along the way. All right. Now we got to make a knot because I didn't want to do a bow because there's a lot of, oh, did I get ink on there? Goodness gracious. We'll get the, I think the, our little ribbon will hide that. So the Sharpie technique, you take a Sharpie marker and I like using a Sharpie um, and I have a, a video just on doing this technique on my um, YouTube channel. So you can go there and watch it if you'd like. You can also see other cards that I made and used it on, but you're going to tie it around the Sharpie. And I'm going to leave one end shorter than the other. And I'm using, I'm tying it right off the bolt. So this is a slippery ribbon. So I'm going to be careful about it because it does slide around. And I don't know if I've used this yet for a Sharpie technique. There we go. So you're going to tie it in a double knot, right? And I use a Sharpie so you can slide it off. And I am going to just cut, cut away some. And what we'll do, you know what? I'm going to grab... Where is my little, hmm, it's not, it's not where it's supposed to be, so maybe it put it up here. I have one of those eraser thingies that kind of erases the ink. 
it kind of like wears it down. It's a little sander and it's not in its spot. I hate when that happens because then when you go to use it, it's not there. Let me try to see if I can get a little bit of it off. Mm, that's a shame. Well, I will get it off later. Off. Oh, here it is. It fell down below. All right, so this is one of those. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this, but this is called a sand eraser. And sometimes you can get your ink off with it. And I'm not going to worry about it if it doesn't come off of here because it'll just look like the tip of a flower is over there. And had I seen it, I would have stamped a little bit of the flower over here so it would have looked like there was a... Oh, it's coming off pretty well. It just sands down the layer of paper. So it's not like an ink remover. It's just a sand eraser. And you go in little teeny circles. Just like that. That's better. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take this and figure out where I want my little tie. And I think I want it right about where that branch is. So I'm going to take some adhesive and put it on the back. Right, and then I can lay this. I put my loop right about there where I want it, and then wrap it around the back. Oop! Let well, your finger stick to it, right? And you can cut off extra if you want to. Now I'm going to be raising this up because I'm using dimensionals. So I'm going to, since I didn't, I didn't do this on the other one because I wrapped the twine, but because this is slippery. I'm going to put a piece of scotch tape right over the ends. Nobody will see it. All right, now I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to just cut a piece of, um, and I cut this is, let's see, I think I cut it enough. This is about seven inches. And I'm going to, like I said, it might be easier for you to see than having it attached to the roll, the spool. And I'm going to tie it around the Sharpie, like so, all right? And then I turn it, and I'm going to tie it again. Very slippery ribbon. Oh, got my finger stuck in it. Um, pull it through, and the ends fray. All right, so now I have that loop. I slide it off like that, right? And I'm going to put it, I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I really like it with this granny apple green. I'm going to do the same thing. Oops, I'm going to put the shorter side over here and the longer side over here and I'm just gonna wrap it just like that same thing <laughs> this one get my fingers on stuck just like that and then I can trim the ends right and then I'm just gonna take a piece of scotch tape and hold down this ends all right so now what you want to do is now you just take now usually when you're doing this with a ribbon I'm looking around to see if I have something that I can show you. Um, hang on, I would like to grab a card so I can show you what how I've done it, but you know I will end up not finding one because that's always the case is when you're looking for something. I would like a sample, but you may just have to trust me. Um, oh, I actually, you know what I can show you? Yes, some of these. I have a bunch of cards of what I'm looking through. But I did have a ribbon. I did have some that I cut. But let me show you. Hang on. I'm just leaning over here grabbing stuff. Here's one. I think we tried this on a card last week. But see, I did the I did the Sharpie technique, but it just didn't um I didn't end up using it, but see how the ribbon looks differently because it, when it's a thicker ribbon, you get a, a, a different effect. But what you're going to do is you're going to stick in the loop and cut it at an angle. It won't matter. The angle won't matter much on this thin ribbon. But see, and you get a nice little knot and you didn't have to take the time to try to um, tie it because, hi Evelyn, because it's, it's hard to, um, I don't know, I find it hard to tie little knots on things so that that kind of helps you kind of just make this little knot and with this this what we can do with this is this um ribbon phrase so that can you can pull it apart to give it a little bit of a little bit of um character so i'm just going to open it up 
let the ends fray. All right, so that's how you do the Sharpie technique, but when it works nicer, um, it's more um, the, how can I say this, the technique works better with thicker ribbon because you get this pretty little knot without having to try to tie a cute little knot. All right, so we have our two pieces there. I just thought of something, too. Instead of, hmm, I'm winging it, guys, but I was thinking... We had some gems. I wonder if, hmm, I have to decide what I want to use for gems. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just have to use the ones I have. Well, all right, I might just use the regular ones. All right, so we're going to do the yellow on the yellow. But what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, look how pretty that looks. I like that. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this upside down, all right? And we're going to put dimensionals on the left, on the side over here, right? We can put this, and if you didn't put scotch tape on it, um, you would be able to hold down the ribbon with those pieces. Now, instead of putting some here, all right, I'm going to put two on the center of my card, just like that, all right? I'm going to take these off. Where's my take your pick tool? All right, those are coming off. And that way, when I center this, these two will stick here, and I've got the left side already done. So now I'm going to just have to put this centered on the card, just like that. All right, and we don't see them, so I have no chance of going over the edge. Perfect, and we'll do that on this one. All right. So we'll do on the sides and one kind of in the center and then we'll do two on the inside here Whoop! Oh, I'm sticking to everything take those off with my take your pick tool oh those went flying mm -hmm. let me get rid of those before they end up everywhere like that all right and now this is going to go on here. Oh, I think I like the green better. Which one do you guys like? I do. I like the green better. Okay, so that's on. So now we just have to decorate it. Let's just, we'll just do some rhinestones since I have them out here. And let's see, we'll put, um, this is like a medium sized one. I'll put over here. And over here, you can put them anywhere you want and just sprinkle on some others. I think I might put an, a few extra today. So I like to do things in multiple, um, odd. So I'm going to do five and then I'll do the same on this card. I like these little tiny ones. They're very, they're just dainty. So I'll just put three around just like that. Isn't that pretty? And they have the happy birthday, so it's going to be fab. Happy birthday. All right, so that is it. And that was the perfect pomegranate stamp set. Even though we didn't use the pomegranate stamp, we um, made some really pretty cards with it. And um, I hope you liked the uh, fun fold today, green. You guys, all right, let's see. Let me see. I got. I forgot. I haven't been looking. Hi, Jackie. Great tip on using the ribbon technique on the shirt. Yes, the Sharpie technique is a good one. And you guys like the green also? Yeah, I should have you vote. Green or yellow? Green or, this is a Granny Apple Green and Crushed Curry. We have two votes for the Granny Apple Green. I like the Granny Apple Green too. And whoever um, whoever's name gets picked for commenting, they'll get to pick which one they want. Jackie likes green too. I think I think everybody. I do. I do. Oh, you know what we can do? Just thought of something. I didn't do it on my original. Oops. That was weird. I'm gonna get a piece of scrap paper out. Make sure that I got some ink down, and I'm gonna add a little bit of Winkastella. Winkastella. Oop. I gotta get some out, but I don't want too much. Winkastella just adds. 
Nancy, you had a funny name for that. Was it you that had a funny name for this in one of our classes? When we were at um, one of the crops? Well, I can't remember. So I'm just going to put Winka Stella just on the outside of the card. You could do the inside. Well, I could do those, but then I have to, I got to let it um, dry a little bit. I'm only going to do it on the yellow. I love Wink Stella. It just adds, it just adds something to your cards. It's just a glitter brush if you're not familiar with it. This is the Wink Stella. And you can see, don't do this. I always, when I need to, sometimes it's dry when you first start out. So you want to squeeze it over a piece of, and it comes down in the barrel. You want to squeeze it over a piece of scrap paper because you do not want a big drop like that to come out on your your card. So I did those. I guess I got to do these. Now before I go to the next card, I'm going to make sure I see how it picks up the ink. I'm going to make sure I wipe it. So I'll just do all of these. Oh, it makes it kind of bright. It's changing the, um, the, what do you call it? The, the Blackberry Bliss into like a brighter. And it kind of made it look like a watercolor finish to it too. It's kind of neat. But the only thing with doing this is I'm kind of taking away the, um, it, it's not so noticeable on the yellow, but on this Blackberry Bliss, it, it's almost taking away from our, um, the, what do you call it, the, oh my goodness, why can't I think of it? The texture effect, that's not the name, oh, distinctive. These are called distinctive stamps when they kind of give you this, this, um, dotted pattern and all the the gray the gradation but see how it's it's kind of um changing the look of it i don't think i I'm, i wish i hadn't done it on the on this this one um well i have to keep going right <laughs> i started i gotta keep going so i will continue on it's kind of brightening this card up a bit you guys will have to let me know if you like it or not but see how it's kind of picking up. So you have to be careful when you use the Wink of Stella because like if I went to do on work on the yellow, I would get this a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss on it. So I just have a couple more. So I want to, so it, it's actually letting the ink kind of like a watercolor effect. Well, it is watercolor month. Did you guys know that? I think I, when I did the watercolor last week, it's watercolor, world watercolor month. So it's kind of watercoloring those dots. All right, so I'm going to do this a lot to make sure that there's no more pink coming out before I switch to this card. So you can't you can't notice it as much with this um, the crushed curry. It doesn't it doesn't I mean that card it really changed the look of everything. I'm not sure I liked it on the Blackberry Bliss. But it looks nice on this. And I'll hold it up when I'm done. And I'll be done in a second because I don't really have to do the... We use DSP for the back of this so we don't have... I don't have any that I have to do there. But I gotta get a little bit more. This is um, all my Wink of Stella. I use it a lot so... Ooh, too much. See that? See how the puddle came out? You just want to make sure you do that on off your and have a tissue or something handy because sometimes even though you do it off oh you might get see how that happened it came out a lot of a lot of glitter at once so just have a tissue handy so you could just pick it up you don't want that much all in one spot I mean it's pretty but you don't want too much Okay, so there is the Granny Apple Green one. Oh, wink, yes. Winky stick, that's what you called it, Nancy. <laughs> My favorite tool, the winny stick. Ha ha ha, winky. winky stick, yes. Great layout, thank you. You like, oh, Beverly, you like the crushed curry. Green, green, okay, wink, yes. Oh, wink, yes, and it's pretty. Very pretty. Thanks, Ellie. You love it, Beverly. Okay, good. 
All right, so we are done. That just added a little bit of something, something to our cards. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I missed a flower. Oops, this one here. I'm going to have to dump this one. No, I don't have to worry about the yellow getting on this one, but isn't it funny how it, it um, really changed the look of these flowers? It did brighten them up, but it kind of, um, you know what it reminds me of? You remember when you were a kid and you, um, you got those coloring books? They were like watercolor books where you, um, it was all dots and you just used a paintbrush with water and the, the, paint the dots turned into they were really dry dots of paint so that's that one right can you see that hopefully you can see the the glimmer on it do you guys remember those paint brushes those paint i don't know what they called the, it was a um they were like paint by dots or something they were called all right so there we have it i'm going to leave them separate like this because i don't want um, you got to give it a minute for the wink of Stella to dry. You love those books. I did too, Tracy. Those were fun. Made you feel like you were painting, even though you didn't. Okay. That is our Facebook Friday. That was our fun fold. It's a really easy fun fold, right? We just cut it off at two and a half inches and turned it sideways and decorated it. So you could do anything with this. And that's the one I made earlier today, and these are the two I made here for you today. So you spent many days doing those. Yeah, oh, what a nice memory, Tracy. That's nice. All right, folks, I am done. I am going to say goodbye to you. And don't forget, if you want to shop with me, you can get my um, Cottage Rose virtual class. There are three days left. You have to the 31st. And I just, I never did find that piece of paper I wanted to show you. But if you go to DonnasCreativeSpace.com, you can see my blog post. I think it was from last night. I, I scheduled it to post last night. And it's a nice little um, printout, that, something you can print out that has, has all of... It's so funny how... I swear I have um, little gremlins in my craft room. Because I, I had set out because I wanted to show it to you, and it's gone now. But anyway, oh, you're welcome, Ellie. Um, so don't forget to comment. You And if you're watching this on Facebook, I'm um, sorry, whether you're watching it here on Facebook Live or watching the replay on Facebook, or I'm going to upload this to um, YouTube after, after this. And so either way, wherever you're looking for, wherever you're watching it, please comment. And your name will go into a drawing. And um, I will real quickly say again, Tracy, I went back because the other per person, Tracy Z, TZ, Tracy Z, I know we have a Tracy Nicole here, but um, you get to choose one of these. So let me know. And this was Jill Dale. Jill, I don't think you're on here right now, but if you happen to watch it later, you, have, you can choose between one of these one of these cards and tra the other Tracy you know you're getting you got this one this will be I'm gonna put all of these in the mail this week so Tracy you got you got this one that was our fun fold when did we make this one two weeks ago I think yeah I think that we made this two weeks ago that was a fun one but I didn't even realize it but I've been doing I, I did realize it this morning I've been doing like celebration stuff all month so Take care, ladies. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and um, follow me here on Facebook. And make sure you leave a comment. Say hello. Tell me which version you liked better, the green or the, the gray apple green or the crushed curry. Just make a comment and your name's going to go into the drawing and you can choose which of these two cards um, you would like to get. You, you could choose the you could have the choice. I'll let you choose whichever one. If you want the, the Blackberry Bliss one. I'm not I'm not happy with it now that I used the Wink of Stella on it. I don't like what it did to it. But whoever whoever's name I pick will get to choose one of these cards. And I will announce it next week at my next Facebook Live. So just make sure you comment by Monday at noontime, I'd say. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next time right here on Donna's Creative Space. Take care. Bye-bye.